Good question, Dr. Jones. I would be happy to explain why we're taking the path less traveled when compared to mundane computer systems. One advantage the calculator has over normal computers is the electro-organic linking terminal. Our tests conclude that the CPU can share tasks and receive data from pseudo-cryogenic stored brains that are maintained in an oxygenated tank. These brains are currently that of lab rodents, but our calculations indicate that human brains can be preserved in the same fashion. The brains will be fed specifically formulated nutrients to sustain suspended life. In turn, they will assist the calculator's CPU in vault management, including life support, food production and distribution, pacification robot protocol, and Vault Zero defenses. This neural network will also assist in Vault Zero's primary function, to initiate mankind's post-war rebirth, when outside temperature, radiation levels, and poison particle counts return to acceptable levels, Vault Zero will remotely activate the Exodus Protocol, which will initialize the integration of all vault dwellers onto the planet's surface. The brains are to be harvested from a select group of geniuses that were chosen by committee for their skills and their cute haircuts. Okay, I think we're at the end of this mission. This is the final power node and we gained the information we needed. So, all... And I got a level. Level 19. Maybe pump up luck. I think that's a worthy goal. And not even though we can use now use, be certain we can use uh, lockpicks in both hands. I still want to get it to a little bit higher. I think it's now 120. It still might not actually be enough for everything. So I'll, I'll keep 10 points in storage just so we have some flexibility. In, if we need something, absolutely need something desperately, we can at least throw 10 points at it and see if that makes the difference. Okay, so what's our... we can probably drop these and this. So that gives us a little bit room again. Uh, I'll pick up a few more extra weapons just for sale. I th I think I have decent enough money supply actually. Uh, fifty thousand or is it yeah, fifty eight? Fifty eight thousand. So even with our crappy uh, crappy barter skills, we can manage. Probably buy everything we need without too much effort or trouble or inconvenience. The problem is the lack of supplies, not the lack of money at this point. Okay, this will probably require, not even require three tries. Does the door stay open? It does. That's interesting. That's very interesting. I don't think I'll need the power fist. So, save under turn based mode. What we're going to do is throw the grenade here now. Ticker, yep. You have destroyed the power nodes. The robot repair plant is offline. Proceed to the extraction point. Huzzah! And there was much rejoicing. Yeah, I think that's about it. We don't have any additional... Maybe we could destroy all the robots, but I don't think it's... It's some... It's uh, additional objective for the 
a nuclear power plant mission. Can I close the door? Yeah, nothing to see here. Uh, here's the turret and we want to be careful around it. Shit. We'll, we'll survive. We want to get here, then we can close the door. Run you fools, run! And we're safe. Now all that remains is to actually find the extraction point. And we have four missions left. We will finally finish this with this game. Okay, this should be a decent enough. We'll leave. No, don't close the door. Run, you fool. At ease, warrior. The Canyon City Repair Station is now offline. Dagger Squad and Tusk Squad have simultaneously eliminated two smaller repair stations to the northwest. The calculator will now be hard-pressed to maintain a large attack force in this area. It is now time to step up our attacks and see what effect our actions have on the robot war machine. The elders believe that the chance of a massive robot attack gets greater with each passing day, so time is running short. There is a brotherhood saying, Strike while the iron's hot. I believe it applies here. It was wise on your part to access information stored in those computer terminals. There is some debate between the elders whether this information is accurate or has been formulated to cause confusion in our ranks. I personally find it hard to believe that the calculator is a machine and not a sentient being. In either case, there are still unanswered questions that require further investigation. Good work with the reconnaissance information. Dismissed. Success. Yeah, Buena Vista. It, I think we can drop our loot here and then go straight here. By the time we arrive, we should be free of our addictions. Yeah, no. <gasps> Only one encounter. That's like magic. Yeah, I can't move. Oh. Why can't I move? I think I've suffered at least four points of strength damage from all the addictions and yeah, it's no good. I'll, I think I'll do this. Now I'll drop some of the goods I'm gonna sell on the ground, so I can gain my movement back. Then I'm gonna store some of the items I don't have any intention of selling. We that should free up enough of the so did I double click it? I guess I did. So we won't be selling any grenades. Uh, that's that's that shit, but we don't want to sell it. We might be desperate enough to use it at one point. I think we'll want to get rid of these fragmentation grenades. They're not terrible, but they're not great either. We definitely won't be selling any of those. Mm, or not those. Mm, not those. Mm. Yeah, no, those are those. No, those very valuable ammunition. The Gauss rifle isn't that great of a weapon, but it's one of those weapons that is still actually useful at this late of the game. 
most of the small weapons are absolutely useless so it's mainly ghost rifle and select ammunition on the shotgun but it's not enough for a whole team so you need heavy weapons, energy weapons, if you want to have a team of six, for example. Okay, what's new? Advanced power armor, we already have that. Uh, more ammunition, more ammunition. <gasps> Thank Jesus. Now I feel a lot better again. That's at least one mission worth ammo. So we, I think we... Uh, we have about... What do we have there? I don't see the ammo because I don't have them anymore. I think we have like three missions worth of ammo and we have four missions I think to go. So even if we're not in a great position, we're all starting to be in an okay position. In a position where I'm uh, sort of I think we can make it at this point. And once we finish the next mission, I think we'll get extra. But we don't get it here. That's the goddamn problem. I would have definitely loved the, to have the Tesla armor by this point. But I'll take your dirty money and ammunition. There are a lot of Plasma grenades, I think, somewhere. No, that's those aren't plasma. Those are. How much are they? Yeah, 1300 apiece. 1400 almost. We want EMP if we can help it. And none is for sale. So they're saving the good stuff for the absolute final missions. Okay, I think... Oh, was it this the second? I don't think there are... Maybe there are only three missions left, actually. Yeah, the first one was the... Yeah, I'm, I'm totally confusing myself here. Uh, yeah... 100... I'll take 120, just to be sure. We'll be storing most of these. Mm. We'll want the grenades with us, because there will be uh, heavy fighting in this. 